Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can display distinct value in combo box. We are going to learn how we can remove the duplicate element from the list of values with the help of JavaScript. All the things we are going to learn. So, obviously, we will learn how we can call the JavaScript function in VVCS, how we can assign the value or response of JavaScript function to the variable. We will create array data provider variable. And we will map that variable with the LOV. All these things we are going to learn in this video. Have a look of the JavaScript function which is going to remove the duplicate element from the array. So here you can see we created one JavaScript function with the name of get unique. This function we will pass an array element and this function will do some operation and after that it will return back the another array that array will having the distinct value. It will not have any duplicate element. So all these things we are going to learn. So I will use this JavaScript function. You can take a screenshot of this JavaScript function for your reference purpose. So now move to the practical part. So friend, this is our VVCS application. If you remember in the previous video, we created this page where we are displaying data. And this one, the data, this data in the combo box coming from SDP and this one coming from the ADP. So here you can see once we create click on this icon here you can see the data we have in the duplicate form you can see the d001 two times so now we have to create a page in a such way that this duplicate value can be removed so now move to the application this is our application so now we have to create a new page so that we can add that lov or even we can add a new lov here in this page only so let's we create a new page right so for creating the page here we have to click on this main and just go and here so in this application sdp versus adp application we are going to create new web page so click here and we have to click on new page and i will give the page name as this thing lov create so now new page is created here and now here once page created we have to assign this page to the default page so that whenever we will run the application that this page will default automatically open so click on this main go to the setting and the setting here it's already in the main distinct lov here right previously it was main start so now this thing is selected so now once we will run this application this page will default open right so now here uh, let me skip this part and now go to the main page we created. So this is our page and here we have to add all the logic to display the things, to display the value. So here let me remove this part so that we can start from zero or scratch. So yeah, we remove the code. Now here we have to add one heading. So I will take the heading here, drag the heading. In the heading text, I want to display the message like uh, uh, display distinct value in LOV. Now done, I will make it a little bit small. And here we have to add the combo box, right? So I will go to the combo box, drag this combo box here. Now we have to assign this value to the combo box, but we don't have value right now. So we are going to create one array variable. That array variable will store the value value from the business object so you can see this is our employee bio business object and this department we want to display in the in the lov so for displaying first we have to get this department so we know that each and every business object having the endpoint to retrieve the data from business object so that endpoint is rest endpoint so yes we will call this rest endpoint to get the department value and we will store this value in a variable that array variable right so first we have to create the variable so before going to create the variable we have to create the type what kind of type of that variable will be so first go to the type and now we are we have to create the type so now we are going to create a new type to so click on type and we can create type using two ways the first way is the go from for endpoint or second way you can create manually so in the previous video i have already shown you how we can create from the endpoint now this video we will learn how we can create manually so click on custom give the type name so i am going to give the type name as department type department type and now here the type will be object 
as we are not going to create array here we will create variable as array so click on create and now here we have to map the or we have to add the field in this type so click here and as we know that our department or our variable is going to have only one column that is department so i will add the field as department only and the type will be a string click on create so now new type we created with the one column as department so now we have to create array variable with this type so go to the variable and here we have to create the variable so click on this variable and here we have to give the name id is the name of variable so i will give the name as var department adp and in the type instead of a string we will select the array data provider so now our new the variable is created as a array data provider but we have to map the type with this variable so here now variable select here go to the properties and here you can see we have item type so the item type will be our new type created that is department type right and here the key attributes will be department and the text from the attributes will be also be department so now our new variable ad data provider variable is ready by department so now we have to load the data into that variable the the question when we have to load the data into that variable so that we can display here so i don't want that whenever user will click here and then it will go and store the data we want whenever page will load it will get the data from business object store into the adp and then it will display here so the first we have to assign the value to that variable on the page load so page load it means that we be enter event so select this page this is our page select anywhere except that any component and once you will select go to the property you will be able to see the page go to the event and once you will click here new event you will get option on vb enter click here now vb enter event is the event that is page load event so now in the page load we want to get data from business object so getting data from business object it means we have to call the end point to get the data so for calling the end point as we know that the end point is rest so i will select the call rest action here and here we have to select the end point so click on this select icon and this is our business object so as i have only one business object in this application that's why it's showing employee bio here so expand here and here you can see we have two get option the first one it will return all the records the second one it will return only a specific record based on employee id so we want to this get all the department from the business object so i will select this get all click on select so now it will return all the column and all the records but i want to display or i want to get only the department column so in the rest we have option to restrict the column by adding the filter in the fields page so click here in the fields and now here in the fields only we have to provide the column name so that it can display or it can return only that column value so i will give the column name as department as our column in the adp uh, column in the business object is department so now save so this rest call will return all the department present in the business object now we have to store this department into array variable we created that as sdp variable array data provider variable so for assigning the value to the variable we have assign variable action so drag this assign variable action here and now we have to select the variable in which variable we want to assign so we have variable as var department adp this is our variable but we have to assign the data to that variable that's why we have here you can see the array icon var department adp dot data so select data and what data and what value we want to assign so here you can see this is the array icon it means this is array variable and we have to map this array variable so here you can click on fx or directly you can see it's populating that call rest business object get all employee bo result you can see this one right this one bo result dot body dot items here we have to select this one else you can click on this expression builder and here you can see this is the action chain in the action chain we have one call that is call rest business object get all employee expand here you can see the body and in the body we have the array element array element that is item inside the item only we have the column you can see the item and here we have the column but in 
uh, while calling the API, we added the filter to this return the department column only. So it will return only department column. So this is the array element. I will map this array element here. So now save. So you can see this is the same. It's showing there. So now once the page will be loaded, the rest will be called. It will pass the data, get the data, and it will store data into the variable. Now we have to map this variable to the business to the list of value. But remember, right now we have not added the logic to remove the duplicate. I will add that too. So before going to add, let me show you the first value here. So here, this is our combo box. We have to assign the array variable to this combo box so that the array data can be displayed here. So go to the data, go to the option, select that variable. So this is our variable. I will select here. Remove this null. Now click on save. Our array variable mapped here, but we have to map the columns too. Go to the all properties. Here you can see the option. After option, we have option key. Go to the array key, and here we have to add the label. The label means which value will we will be able to see, and the value. What's the value behind that label? So both value will be same in this case. So I will select department. So now this combo box have set the value, right? Whatever value it will display, the same value it will reflect in the back end as a value. So department column. Now go to the general and here combo box one. Instead of that, I want to say that select department. Now done. So if we will go to the live, once click here, the page will load it and it will call the endpoint and here it's showing the data. If I will run this application, we will be able to see the same. So here it's taking a little bit of time to reload the page. So I'm just waiting for that. Yes, I will create separate videos where we will I will explain you how we can optimize our page so that it can load faster. So now you can see this is a heading, and here once we will click here, we will be able to see the data. But this is not the distinct data. So now before going to assign here, we have to add the function. So you can see here we are directly getting the data from API and adding the data to the variable. Before getting adding the data to the variable, we have to add the logic to remove the duplicate element. That's why we have JavaScript function. So go to the JavaScript of the page, and here we have to add the function, which function I already displayed. This is the function. So I will copy this function and paste it here. So I have already created this function. So I will copy this function. You can take a screenshot of that, and you can use the same function. So now here I paste here. So new function, you can see the page modules mean this function is uh, for the page level only. And here you can see the class is also page modules too. So now the function get unique created. Go to the action again. Now what we have to do is that we have to pass the array element, the data we are getting from the response, the rest response to this function, and it will return new array data without duplicate value. So now go to the action. So before assigning the data to the variable, we have to call the function. So for calling the function here, we have call function. So drag this call function here after the rest call, and here we have to select the function. Which function we have to call? So function name here. Once you will drag as we have only one function, get unique. Select this get unique. This is the same name we created here in the JavaScript. Get unique. Now here we selected the function, but this function having one parameter that p underscore array. You can see this is the p array, and it will return back the result. So now the p array, what value we want to send? We want to send the data, whatever data we receive from the rest call. So again, previously we assign here the same value we will pass to the calling here. So go to the expression builder, or you can directly select here call rest business object get all employee bo result dot body dot item. Now we are passing the array element of the response of rest call to the function, and this function will return the data. The data as call function result. This is the array element function is going to return. Now this data we have to map here. So click on this variable, remove this value, and map that variable. So click here, and here you can see this is our call function, call function result. So I will remove this one, and I will drag this here. Save. Now here you can see once page will be loaded, we are calling the endpoint to get data from business object, and the whatever data as a department field we are getting from the business object, same we are passing to the JavaScript function. This function taking this column array value as a request as a parameters and it is returning new array as a response as a result of this function call and the same new array res result of the call function we assign to the variable 
and now this variable is mapped with this LOV so that in real time it will display the distinct value. So now here we have to go to the page, page load again. So when this page will be loaded, it will display the distinct value. That's really too much easy. Just you have to go for the practice. So yeah, you can see this again. Once we click here, you can see the duplicate value is removed. The 0D001 was a duplicate. It's removed now. So this is the simple way we can create application to remove the duplicate value from the LOV. Even you can use the same to somewhere else displaying in the table or somewhere else based on your requirement. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other queries and you want to ask anything, don't hesitate to put comment. And thank you so much in advance to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much again.